Let's learn the parts of the abacus. So from the top, from the right to the left, these are the upper beads. Going down from the right to the left, lower beads. Go back, go up again. From the right to the left, these are the upper rods. Going down from the right to the left, lower rods. Again, go up from the right to the left. This is the first rod, second rod, third rod, fourth rod, fifth rod, sixth rod, seventh rod, eighth rod, ninth rod, tenth rod, eleventh rod, twelfth rod, thirteenth rod, fourteenth rod, fifteenth rod. The last one is fifteenth rod. Go back to the right, going down to the lower rods. From the right to the left, first rod, second rod, third rod, fourth rod, fifth rod, sixth rod, seventh rod, eighth rod, ninth rod, tenth rod, eleventh rod, twelfth rod, 13th rod, 14th rod, and 15th rod. Go back to the right. Now this is the separation bar or answer bar. From the right, the first raised dot aligned to the column of the upper and the lower beads has the place value of once. Again, touch the dot and the column of the beads to say their place values starting from the right going to the left so this is ones going to the left tens continue hundreds so ones tens hundreds next thousands ten thousands hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, hundred millions, billions, ten billions, hundred billions, trillions, ten trillions, hundred trillions. Go back to the right again. On the separation bar from right to left, after every third dot, there is a raised vertical line called unit marks. Serve as decimal point or commas for thousand, million, billion, and trillion. Again, after every third dot, one, two, three. Thousand, one, two, three, million, one, two, three, billion, one, two, three, trillion. And that's all the parts of the abacus.